Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing for the secret wallet which I uh, received yesterday as well as a comparison of sorts with two other wallets which I had reviewed previously that is the, the Walter wallet and the Xentry wallet so let's start off with the secret wallet I got the uh, slim wallet vintage in cognac rust uh, color combination so let's go ahead and open this up uh, you get a little info leaflet here it's made in Holland as you can see and it's a combination of um, leather and aluminium and you are also um, entitled to register your official um, secret wallet in order to get a certificate of authenticity and an extra year of guarantee, which brings it up to three years. Now, here's the wallet itself. It's a uh, really nice looking leather, I must say. It has a really nice feel to it. You have the secret branding there and over here as well so once you open this up first of all you have a compartment for your bills here which you can put in like this uh, as I'll show you soon and you have two extra compartments over here where they claim you can put in an extra um, three cards per slot I think but of course I wouldn't suggest you do that um, I think two is uh, is more than enough or else it gets I, th I feel it gets too bulky um, I uh, I've used it for a day and I've put two cards in one slot and one card in the other as I'll show you now this of course is the aluminium uh, portion of it and cards you put in here will be RFID protected there is also inside uh, over here there's a rather this side it's a, a code which you use to register I've already registered mine and I don't know if you can see but there is some like red felt on the inside which helps with uh, friction of the card so they don't fall off and it's a, a very very smooth motion um, so yeah, let's just fill this up with cards. I've got a bunch here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to put six cards in the aluminum uh, pocket. Now, uh, these are non-embossed cards. So if you have cards with embossed, uh, you know, embossed uh, numbers or whatever on them, you will have to find a better combination because you will... Uh, you will not be able to put six cards with embossing. Uh, these are six non-embossed cards, and as you can see, they fit in really well. Going very snugly. And of course, you've got your lever here, and they pop up like so. Uh, I really like how they fan out, because you have pretty much the same distance between one card and the other. The mechanism feels very solid, I have to say. The cards do not fall off because they're very, very tight in there. Uh, I've also tested this with less cards, even with just one card, actually. And it will still work just fine. So it doesn't fall off. It still pops out and it still doesn't fall off. So that's very, very good. Now. put in even more cards so you have those six in there and let's put another two in here it's a bit of a tight fit but of course the leather will give in the future and another one up here Uh, 
So as you can see, it's still pretty much flat. And it's now loaded with three, six, so nine cards in all. Um, let's go ahead and put in some cash. So I've got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five bills here. And if you put them in in the way they showed uh, with the fake 50 euro note, they will fit in just like so. And still, still very compact, doesn't really bulge all that much. Now, when I have uh, less notes, I've actually put them in folded in half. So say you have just two notes, you can just fold those in half and slide them in like so. They will uh, add a bit to the thickness, but if there's uh, there's just a few bills, they won't really they won't really matter. I find. So yeah, um, just a couple of points about this. As I said, I really like the leather. However, I noticed that I don't know if you can see it there, but that edge is a bit frayed. Now I'm no leather expert, but as you will see on the Eccentri wallet. Um, there is no such fraying now of course it's not a big deal um i think it will just you know wear out over time like it wasn't even there but i couldn't help noticing it because where this this side doesn't really have all that much but on the front side there's quite a bit there um the only real shall we say design flaw as i see it for this wallet is that uh, as other people have pointed out, this part here is actually glued on to the aluminium portion. And over here, you probably won't be able to see it, but uh, there's actually the thin film of glue. And, you know, you I can kind of concerned about how that will hold up over time. It's very strong glue because I put in a card and it almost got stuck in there but since this will be in my pocket uh, a bit concerned that maybe it will attract you know lint and stuff you can actually hear the lead uh, the the glue a bit there so yeah I think uh, that's it what else did I want to say um, right as I said this compartment is RFID protected and if you uh, when the cards are are out you can actually use them to mm, tap them on any sensor or whatever um, they won't be RFID protected if they're like so and um, also of course these two card slots here two co card compartments will not be uh, RFID protected and in fact I use one of them to put my office access card in them because I can just place um, you know get this close to this sensor and it actually works so uh, that's that's very important for me. Now, uh, let's go ahead and make a little bit of a comparison. So this was the Walter wallet, which I've reviewed in more depth in another video. Now this is, um, it's still a very good wallet, but I mainly used it for, uh, for cards. So if I, let me just get these off the Accenture one. So let's load this up. Uh, the way this works was you had to physically push the cards up and then they fan out. I think this took like seven cards. Uh, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it can definitely take take another card. Let me get one. Oops. There we go. Uh, yeah, the fanning mechanism still works like a charm. Sometimes it might get, uh, you know, might get a couple of cards not fanning out well, but most of the times, yeah, there you go, see? Most of the times it will work pretty well. Um, what I, shall we say, dislike about this is that you have a compartment on the back for um, bills, 
or whatever receipts and I don't really never really use it because I don't feel like it's too safe I mean the the bills will pop up with the cards and if you have less than you know a couple of bills uh, it will very easily uh, fall off I find so I've not been using this section and uh, as you might see it's been attracting lint and dust and stuff from my pockets so I actually feel like for the Walter wallet if this part was removed it could could have been uh, slimmer and more practical for me at least uh, otherwise the construction is still pretty good there's a little dent here which um, might have been from a couple of falls I um, dropped this like three or four times maybe um, something that I don't really like about it as well is that when the cards are fanned out they will actually fall off so there's no friction there they will not fall off if they're locked in place but if they're out there they will fall off also when I dropped this uh, the cards actually came out so it's another thing to consider um, the little screws over here have uh, rusted but doesn't seem to have impacted the overall um, quality of it so that's the Walter wallet as regards the Xandri wallet again I have um, reviewed this in a separate video uh, I still like this wallet particularly because it's uh, I find it's really really well made so as you can see its edges here are stitched really nicely and there is no fraying like with the Xentry over here that we saw earlier so in this regard I feel like the Xentry is actually better it has very very nice stitching uh, this is also with RFID protection but um, you, you just put in this whole six cards one two three four five six you have two quick access slots for your two mostly used cards and you have the middle compartment for bills um, what I found with this wallet was that when it's loaded up with cards it's it gets a bit awkward to maneuver for the bills in here but you know it's still very usable uh, you also have a little slot here for receipts or whatever um, yeah, I still like this wallet pretty much it's as I said very very well made it's compact uh, as far as size goes it's pretty much identical to the to the secret wallet uh, it's actually thinner of course because it doesn't have that compartment but uh, with this wallet every card has its own layer of of leather so that you know of course pushes the thickness up a bit and of course you have a metal clasp there with the Accenture branding and it gives way to when the wallet bulks up a bit uh, this hasn't given me any trouble so yeah as regards coins um, of course none of these wallets are made for coins however having said that for the secret wallet you could if you want to use this pocket for coins I've seen some people do it but um, personally I don't think it would it would really work all that well because you have room certainly but I feel like they would fall off pretty easily so I won't be using it for for coins uh, for coins I use the paper wallet again I reviewed this in a separate video and you know you can just at least for me you can if you don't like leaving your uh, coins just jingling around in your pocket I mean this is a an easy simple solution to just at least they're um, in a tight package you know and yeah this has held up pretty well as well uh, the only thing as I said in the video it's a bit worn out but other than that I use this every day um, this is the magic coin pouch so get your coins there put them back in it's a bit finicky sometimes but you get used to it and like that they're locked in place and won't fall off uh, so yeah let me just see there we go 
see them side by side. As I said, they're pretty much in the same territory size-wise. Um, I like this small footprint for a wallet. It's hardly uh, larger than an actual card in terms of size. And, you know, I think that's how a wallet should be in terms of portability. It doesn't really need any extra, any extra bulk to it. Uh, in terms of pricing, both of these are uh, in the region of 50 euros. So, yeah, you can take your pick, I guess. Uh, the Walter wallet is much cheaper at 15 euros. Then, of course, they have their aluminum uh, versions, which run into like 39 euros. Um, I can honestly recommend all three wallets uh, because, you know, they have their own pros and cons, I guess but they all serve their purpose pretty well so it's just in the, a matter of you know your preference basically there isn't really a winner from these three wallets or whatever i just wanted to uh, give you a little rundown of their main points um of course i will be using uh, the secret now since i just got it and yeah i said as i said i really like it they have a ton of color combinations for this. I liked the cognac and rust, particularly. Um, also, in terms of finishes, they have this is the vintage finish, but they have matte finishes. They have ones with uh, like stitching and whatever. Um, the Accenture wallet, I think, comes in like three colors. Uh, Walter wallet have uh, several color combinations as well. So yeah, I hope you guys found this little, you know, review um, useful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, appreciate your support and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.